Hollywood and Fish Moore, my Star Book and Career Mode for FIFA 21. And we're going to go through the month of November here, as you, I'll show you here. And on deck is three games today, including an away game against Brule, which I think I'm going to put my first team up there. And I think I'm going to put my second team up against Victoria Cohn, even though they're high up on the table. And I'm going to put my first team up against V and V spot. And but this will be the next to last video, normal video, that I'll post in Season 1. And in the next video will be Byron Munich 2, Vic L, and Hansa Rostock before I get into the January transfer window. But anyway, hope you guys have a good day today. As we just go forward here. But yeah, as you can see, Victoria Cohn is in... As a matter of fact, I might actually play my first team against Victoria Cohn and then put my way, my second team up against Bay and B's spot and, and see how that goes. Gore's loan agreement. Hopefully this goes through. I'm going to go ahead and accept. Oh, it looked like my, my, my one player made a... Um, loan to buy a short term. Yeah, I'll... Do I want loan? Do I want loan about? Yeah, I'll I'll accept that. He's fifty four rated. I don't see him going anywhere. But yeah, I think Bruel and Bolo just made Player of the Month. Where was that at? Show me. Yeah, there we go. Bruel and Bolo grabs October Player of the Month award. Take a look at that. And I feel that he deserves it too. I think he's probably been my best player so far this season. I've been very impressed. He's been he's been getting the goals that I want my team to get. And I really haven't been able to say anything too bad about him. His striking partner out of hand, Nicholas Gonzalez, has been pretty much up and down in terms of form, but anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do this game against Roll. They're nineteenth place right now, which if this was in real life, they'd be in relegation trouble right now. I'll show you guys their kits here real quick. As you can see, they, go, they look an awful lot like what Newcastle's kits looked like last year. And their away kits are pretty bland, but their, their home kits are pretty nice. And with that circular badge that the Dry Liga has, it kind of looks like the Premier League badge. And it, it just looks a lot like Newcastle's home kits last year. But anyway, I'm going to stick with this formation from now. I'm going to go ahead and sim this match. This really should not be that difficult of a match, considering I'm playing my best team on up and having um, playing against a team that's in relegation trouble. Hopefully this will be pretty much... I'm not going to say walk in a park, but not... I mean, compared to the game ahead against Victoria Cohn, I expect this to be not too difficult of a match. Hopefully. Ah! This back passing my team is doing is driving me nuts. But, it, like I said, Mbolo is the October player of the month. Already making an impact, and it's an early one nothing lead for Sarah I know this back passing my team is doing has got to stop. Oh, look at that! Can we make a two? No, we can't. Ambulo could have had a brace right there. I'm surprised he didn't shoot. Leaving ourselves open to a counter attack. Okay. Ooh, I thought there was, I thought he sne snuck that in a near post. Or should I say sneak to be using proper grammar?
Okay. Let's see. Oh, that was not. Why did you pass it all the way over there? There was no, there was no play to be made there. Nice. Again, why are you playing it out wide when you don't need to? Now, it's one thing you'd be playing a team that plays a narrow formation, but as you can see, Pano with the own goal there. I mean, it's one thing if, you wanna, if you're playing against a team that likes to play down the middle and you want to go wide, but this overall team likes to play out wide too. Why would you pass out wide when there was options during the middle? Can we make it three? No, we can't. Okay, can we go? Ooh, good save by uh, uh, Blue Seca. Come on, can we score? Can we score? Yes, we can. Eggestein with a goal. And it's 3-0, and this looks like this is going to be a w, another W in the in, in the column for us. As we approach the end of halftime, let's look at ratings, which I didn't get to look. As you can see, we are absolutely dominating this game, as we should. But yeah, the only player that's lagging be behind right now is Brune Larson. Duarte also lagging behind. Thierry Correa actually having a decent game. I'm, I'm just going to stick with the team that I have right now. And around the hour mark, I'm going to make some substitutions. Probably bring off Duarte, Cock, and Brune Larson. But I don't want to take them off just yet. Brune Larson... I, 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 his rating actually went up at the thing. That's interesting. At the uh, second half whistle. Oh, nice! I wouldn't have made that pass there. That was not... Eggestein could have had a brace there. I was going to say that was one too many passes, but... Anyway, 4-0. And Bolo with the brace. Okay, now I'm going to make some substitutions. It's 4 nothing right now. I feel good where we're at right now. I'm going to put Gakpo in there. I'm going to put Pershers in there. And Korea can play out on the left. And I'm going to bring in Red Sauce. If we blow a 4 nothing lead, there's something horribly wrong. Ooh, did that hit the word work? And it's 5-0. Ratchet's getting, his, I believe, his first goal for me in this career mode. The, I'm glad to see these guys. Uh, can it be six? Yes, it can! And Bulo with the hat trick! Six nothing. And like I said before, I'm going to put the starting 11 up against um, Victoria Cohn and man, what a warm-up match. If they play like this against Cohn, I'll be very happy. Now, I do know there's a bit of a difference between Victoria Cologne and Verl, but can we keep the clean sheet? Looks like right now we're just happy conceding corners. Oh! No, 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 no. All them bodies there. Should I say all those bodies? Sound like a hick. Nice. Come on, can we make it seven? Yes, we can! Gonzalez getting on the score sheet. Seven nothing. This is an absolute demolition. This is a kind of game that I want to see. This is a kind of game I know that we're capable of. Can we please keep it, keep a clean sheet? <gasps> Come on, guys, kick it down the field. Thank you. Okay, we're just happy keeping the ball right now. 
But yeah, seven nothing. Seven goals on fifteen shots. They did get three shots, but that was towards the end of the game. Our possession sixty five percent to thirty five percent. That's exactly the get kind of game that I wanted them to play. As you can see, Victoria Cohen ended up losing to Bayern Munich too. Seven nothing. Cool loan rejected. That's not what I want to see. Let me see something for a second. No, it just says grabbing player of the month. But yeah, that's easily the biggest win so far this season. As you can see, we got a 15 point lead over Dynamo, second place Dynamo Dresden. Victoria Cohn dropping down the third due to that loss against Bayern Munich, too. Gora Sloan. Oh, that's just telling me that he's going to join at the beginning of the chance window. At least that's one lone move that's going through. As we sim here towards the game against Victoria Cologne. Barilla transfer offer. Pachuca wants him. Okay, I could get 1.3 for him, but they're asking 1.2. 66 rated at age 23. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Sure, he's bound to have... I'm sure he has decent potential somewhere, but in with dynamic potential, he could probably turn out to be... A decent player, but let's just see if we can get some more money in for him. Forgot to mute my phone. Very typical of me. Gorilla, I was hoping to be quick, having a quick word with you. You know I love it here. I've been really enjoying my football and I like to settle things for my future. My current deal hasn't got that long to run. Do you think there's a chance of us? I'll deal with that situation. This isn't a, this isn't a great time to have this conversation. I've got to... Yeah, this isn't a great time to talk about that right now. Especially since you're potentially going to be moving to the Liga MX with Pachuca. Okay, Darwin Nunez wants some game time. Um, I'll tell him I'll think about it. I might end up putting him out later on. Nunez has been a really good impact player for me. Uh, let's see. Morale is pretty good. I don't really need... If I don't have to deal with the press conferences, I'm not going to. As you can see, Victoria Cohn has went from second to fourth just in this video alone. So, and you see Hansa Rostock now op occupying that third spot, which would be a promotion playoff with the third uh, from bottom survive Bundesliga side. Let's look, let's look at Victoria Cologne's kits here real quick. I kind of like the design of the wake in terms of that, the, uh, that hexagon look. Kit's not too shabby. But anyway, we're, we're going to go ahead and sim this. If, if I'm... Yeah. If things end up going pear-shaped for me and I need to change my formation, I'm going to do that. This is a home game, so hopefully we'll put in a decent performance. Anyway, hopefully my guys got warmed up and uh, motivated by that 7-0 victory. For a while there, I didn't think my guys were capable of scoring two goals, let alone seven. 
kind of a cagey affair so far. See nobody in the green in terms of rating yet. Very scrappy game so far. Now the team, it looks like Victoria Cohn is starting to gain some momentum. Which, we end up getting the ball, but got it right back. They got it right back. Okay, let's see if we can do make something happen here. Way it stands right now, it looks like I'm gonna have to make some tactical. Oh, my, did my own guy seriously blow? Uh, my own guy seriously blocked that shot. A few things tick me off in FIFA. That's one of them. My own people pl blocking my shots. That could have potentially been one nothing. You can see Vunderlich, who ended up getting a Player of the Month award earlier this season. And then the reigning Player of the Month uh, player, Mbolo, was on my team. See, the highest play rated player on the pitch so far is Ratchets with a 7.5. Well, no, seven, he's been between 7.4 and 7.5. Bad giveaway! And, of course, that had to have been Gonzalez. If Nunez is going to make way for anybody, it's going to be Gonzalez. And he wasn't able to bring down that pass. Yeah, Gonzalez might actually get a run here. As a matter of fact... I think I'm going to change my formation a bit. Yeah, I'm not real happy with that. Gonzalez had shown his higher rated. I don't know how. Ratchet's is at 8.0. But yeah, I'm going to change my team around. I'm going to see if I can change to... Do I want to go to 4-2-3-1 wide? Or do I want to go 4-3-3 three, three attack? I'm going to go with a four. Oh my god. It'd help if I push the right button. Okay, that's 433. Where's the 433 attack? There we go. Hmm. Says he can't play as a cam, but I kind of don't want to take him off. Says Gonzalez can play as a can. It's, it, there's no thing, right? So I'm gonna keep Gonzalez on. I'm actually gonna. Should I take him Bolo off? I don't know if I should take him off or no. Larson hasn't been too bad. I'm gonna keep him on. Um. Do I put Gakpo? I'll put, I'll put Gakpo in there. It's a little bit of a risk, but I'm going to put Nunez in there. So Nunez and Gakpo up front, Larson can st keep there for the time being. Agastein with a 6.7. I should consider taking him off. But we'll see how things go here in the second half. I'll, I'm only going to make those two subs. There we go. I can already see a difference, which that was not a good pass. Oh, nice! Yeah, I'm already seeing a difference right now with this 4-3-3 attack. We're much more lively on offense. Come on! Oh! Good chance there by... Gonzalez. What is new... What was Lunin doing out and out that far? Not the most convincing of passes either. Uh oh. If nothing happens here within the next ten minutes, I'm gonna have to jump in. Come on, come on, come on, Gonzalez! Oh my God, you're slow. 
don't know how he, statistically he's as good as what he is. Because it seems like every time... Well, went off the post there. Seems like every time I'm in a sim match with this dude... He, yeah, I'm, I'm jumping in. God, he sucks. And he ends up scoring for me. I love how in this FIFA they actually show the lines that are in orange. But yeah, during sim matches, I do not enjoy watching Nicholas Gonzalez at all. Because I don't know what's going on with his head, but it's not where it needs to be. I'm just going to stay on here. Let's see if I, we could get a, um insurance goal here, which... Oh! Oh! There we go! Ooh, good save! Oh, come on, what kind of pass was that? I should have just played... I don't know why the ref played the advantage there. Can I get the ball back, please? Can I get the ball back, please? Can I get the ball back, please? Thank you. Okay. Nunez seals the deal. I'm going to do the Ronaldo celebration. See. Okay, that's pretty much all she wrote. Watch, they're gonna get a goal here, aren't they? No, I'm actually surprised. But there we go. It looks like it's gonna be another clean sheet in the books. And see, we pretty much dominated, but with the exception of the scoreboard. And also, possession was pretty close, too, but... Yeah, that was about as tough as what I had expected it to be. Okay, let's see. First of all, Nunez, thanks for listening to what I had to say. You know what? I do have to say that was a great performance. I felt that he did good, considering that... The little time that I gave him in that game. And Gonzalez is like, hey boss, I know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in. I just want to say I'm going to do whatever's necessary. You'll do, you'll do for me. I'm not real happy with you right now, Gonzalez. I hope you know that. You've really not been playing good at all lately. I don't know what the story is with you, but you need to start thinking about something else. But anyway, that means we have a 15-point lead over Dynamo Dresden now. Unter Hatching is now in third place. Kaiser Slauten rising up the table to fourth. The former Bundesliga champion. Okay, let's look at the score scoring. You can see Mbolo with a five-goal lead over Gonz Nicholas Gonzalez, really. Both played the same amount of games. You can see Nunez is an eighth right now with seven goals. I, st I still don't know how on earth Gonzalez is as good as what he is statistically, considering how poor he's been so far in his career mode. How, uh, should I, I can't say poor, but inconsistent. If he had any form of consistency about him, it, it would be he'd be a, a, a lights-out type player. But anyway, we're going to get into 15th place V and V spot in here. Let's look at their kits here real quick. Their kits, are ac they actually look pretty nice, if I'm being honest with you. And they're one of those teams that I am considering doing a career mode with. I don't know, but I'm probably not going to have a career mode on them like this one. I'm probably going to do one off camera, but... Anyway, we're going to be wearing the away kits. And their away kits are awesome. I'm not even going to lie. 
But anyway, let's see what formation they're, they're playing the same formation that Cologne did. That could give us some problems. Let's let's go to team management. I'm not even gonna chance it. Four three three attack. Okay, for there. Hmm. Do I dare? Okay, Gakpo. Okay, let's see. Red sauce. Okay, let's see. Wolf, I'm gonna put... Do I put Fruit to one there or no? I'll put Fruit, I'll give him a game. First goal he concedes, he's gone. I I'm telling you that right now. Because I have to admit, my patience is kind of thin with Fugtu, especially with how horrible he was off camera in my 1860 Munich career mode. Which, by the way, I did sell him in that career mode off camera, so I don't have to deal with Fugtu anymore. But I know if y'all start playing him here soon, he's going to start whining about game time. And I don't want him bringing my morale down. Ah, oh, bad giveaway, guys. Bit of a choppy game so far. Come on, there's a lower end of the table team. We should not be, even with a second team, we should not be... I feel like we should be able to get the job done. I mean, then again, though, Bay and V-Spot and just got relegated. They are a newly relegated team. They were in the Survivor Bundesliga last season. Now they're in the Dry Liga. They actually put up a good break last year trying to stay up, but it was just a matter of too little too late. You can see Vey and Vsbaden uh, conceding the goal kick there. Oh my god, guys. Team being somewhat lackadaisical so far. Oh, nice pass. Come on, come on, score, score. Yes, Eggestein getting a goal. Nice. And it's a 1-0 lead against Vey and Vsbaden. Can we make it a quick fire double here? Not with Gonzalez, we're not. I might actually entertain selling him. I really, I really am. I'm, enter I'm entertaining that thought. Because I, I don't know how much more... Ah, oh, what kind of goal was that? What was my defense doing there? That was not a good goal to concede at all. Oh, man. That was not a good goal to concede. And you know what? Because of me conceding that goal, Fructal, your time is done. Uh, let's see. Who can we replace? Okay, none of my front three really getting the job done. So, oh, oh no, I ended up pushing the wrong button, but that's okay, Gonzalez gets us the win, it's a 2-1 win. Oh man, I ended up quick simming that on accident. Oh, thank God that kid, that didn't bite me in the ass, but 
Ah, oh, that, that was not... I keep on pushing... You can tell that I've been playing a lot of Switch lately, and that's what's happening. It's... it's uh, see, it's very hard for me, for some reason, to transition between Switch controls and PlayStation controls, and you can definitely tell right there. I did not mean to quick sim throughout the rest of that game, but luckily we were able to get through the win. As you see, we got it. We played one more game over Dynamo Dresden, but we have an 18 point lead over both Dynamo Dresden, uh, Dresden and, and Unterhatch. I think it's actually supposed to be pronounced Unterhatch because I don't think there's an umlaut over the U in Unterhatch. I think it's actually supposed to be Unterhatching. But anyway, we're going to get our latest list of um, Youth Academy po if the thing would stop. Okay, let's see here. Let's start with our Greek uh, scout first. Pietris. Nikos Kosti. Value's not great considering how that range of overall. I, I will keep scouting him, though. Thanasis Mavrudis. One point. Wow! I'm going to sign you. Panagos. 300 grand. Not too bad. I'm going to keep scouting you. Overall doesn't look too bad, but that overall doesn't look great. And Aristides Gal Galanopoulos. See what your value is. I'm going to keep scouting you. Okay. Bordon. Jan Heisman. Look at this guy. 58 to 78. 1.1 million. Kind of disappointing considering his overall range. But his potential is awesome, so I'm going to end up signing him. Brian Bosch. Impressive overall, but as you can see, my youth academy is already full. Lars Vanden Bosch. Potential is not great. I'm going to reject you. Before I check the other scout, what he has, let's see if we can promote anybody. Thanasis Mavrudis, already 64 rating, I'm going to go ahead and promote you. He's a left midfielder, potential of up to 83, left footed, which is like to, I like to see for a left mid. I'm going to promote him to the senior squad. And then we have Luke Meyer here, potential of up to 89. He can either be a cam or a center forward. Potential of up to 89 right footer. He already has a trait. What is that trait? Leadership. He has already has the leadership quality, which I like to see. I'm going to promote him to the senior team. And I'll keep all the rest. Bruno Medina. Mm, going to go ahead and reject you, and you're going to be rejected. So yeah, very impressive so far, which I'm going to go ahead and loan list the, those two guys that I just put out on, that I just uh, promoted to the senior te uh, team. Okay, that's Mavrudis. We're going to go ahead and put you on the loan list. Hopefully you don't reject the loan. And then Luke Meyer, we're going to go ahead and put you on the loan list. But there we go. That ended up being a pretty decent episode so far. Uh, not so far. I'm going to end this. But this has been a good episode. And like I said earlier, we have two players, which I didn't say this earlier, but we have two players up for November Player of the Month. But next episode will be my last before the January chance window. And it will also be my last before I end up simming the rest of this season and showing you guys how I end up finishing. But... Anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am playing this. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.